Do you understand karma? Most people think of karma as good and bad karma, but I mean, this is gonna be a short video because everything is karma. Literally everything is karma. We understand that to every action is an equal and opposite reaction when it comes to, what is that, physics? <laughs> Karma is the cause and effect of our actions on a vibrational as well as physical level. Karma is physics in 3D and it's the law of attraction in, in 5D. Um, you cannot keep from creating karma like we're just only the most absolutely skilled spiritualists <laughs> buddha maybe jesus <laughs> they're the only ones who can keep from creating karma if they wanted to and then even then they they don't always choose to but if I was gonna take a guess, take a stab at like who would possibly be able to um, prevent prevent themselves from creating karma in their lives, that Buddha, maybe Buddha, uh, maybe, maybe not even Jesus. Um, but the thing is, I don't want I don't want you to let I. I don't want this to to get you down because there is good and bad karma and this is where I talk about things like raising your vibration or you know making your life kinder and simpler happier and healthier making your life better because we can through mindfulness, awareness, self-awareness, we can have our karma at a level, um, at a frequency, at a, what's the word for it? Those aren't bad. Um, in a place, <laughs> just trying to come up with all the ways I can say this, where we want our, <laughs> we can have our karma so that it works for us rather than against us. Let's put it that way. Can you tell I don't always like plan these out? <laughs> I like to do the free flow consciousness thing. Uh, I pick a topic and then I roll with it often. Um, so, from the spiritual perspective, the way I would put it is karma is a, an outcome of our vibrational state. Karma, karma is the, the outcome of our vibrational state. Uh, you know, we have the physics way of putting it. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That would be the 3D way of putting it. And the 5D way of putting it would be that karma is the outcome of our vibrational state. So yeah, so without further ado, I want to teach you a little Kundalini Kriya um, a mudra that will help you clear your karma so that you can start sort of from a blank slate to move forward with whatever self-awareness or mindfulness practices you want to use to then raise your vibration karmically or just, you know, make your life better, depending on <laughs> how spiritually you're coming at this or not spiritually you're coming at this. So let me adjust my little seedy thingy. I have my, I love this thing. I got this when I was uh, 
actively doing Shambhala meditation like multiple times a week. But I want to get up a little higher so you can see this. So, this is something you can do with meditations or um, even without meditations. Usually, we start and end any kundalini practice with a couple of things. So, you start it by saying, Om Namo Gurudev Namo. This means I bow to the teacher within. So you're gonna start by putting your hands together and three times you're gonna say, Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. <sighs> then, from there, you are going to put your right hand, right hand further away from you, left hand closer to you, and you're gonna do this. And um, my hand's coming up, a, uh, from, from your perspective, my hand looks like it's coming above my face, but it's not. You can see my hand stopping at my throat. We don't do our head, we just do up to our throat. And then we go down to like as far, you know, down to like where your lap stops because you're sitting. So, with your left hand closer to you, right hand further away, and you're gonna do this motion, and you're gonna say, Hud Hade Hade Wa He Garu. Hud Hade Hade Wa He Garu. Guru. <laughs> Garu. <laughs> so, Hud Hade Hade Wa He Guru. Hud Hade Hade Wa He Guru. Had hade hade, wa he guru. And usually each individual kundalini kriya is done for about three minutes, but just do this for however long you feel it takes to clear your karma in the moment, or as long as you can handle it. <laughs> you can. I'd recommend doing at least a minute, including the the beginning and the end. I'm about to show you. Do at least a minute. Um, but if you can do this part for three minutes all on its own, that's <clears throat> that's standard for, for Kundalini Kriya. Um, and then we end by putting our hands back together and saying Sat Nam just the once. And I will put in the description a, a written version of all of these uh, words. <laughs> so you have a written version of the prayer itself, of the mantra itself. Um, that's the word I was looking for, mantra. <laughs> I will write out the mantras as well in the description. Um, but we start off with Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. We do that three times, then we do the Had Hade Hade. Wa he guru as many times as we can, up to three minutes, and then we do a sat nam. So a long sat, and then a shorter nam. And that is a little kundalini kriya to help you clear your karma. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Of course, I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley stage sister, here to Mike Life a little kinder and simpler if I can I hope I do and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to check out all the links in the description including I'll have the mantras written out for you as well um, and yeah <laughs> may the energies you serve serve you well and let's keep making our way through I am so I know you can too.